Well, hello, Virgos. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Virgos, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. We're going to see what we have for you guys today. Uh, this is going to be in romance, money, family, whatever comes out. We're going to see what's going to come out with you here, Virgos. Ooh, four of cups. What's wrong, Virgo? Ooh, two of cups. Wow. I don't think I've seen a two of cups in your reading in such a long time. I just don't think, I don't even remember the last time I saw two of cups in your reading. So, wow. Okay. <laughs> Four of swords. Okay. And the knight of pentacles. So, Virgo. You guys have decisions to make when it comes down to a relationship. Now, here with the Four of Cups, uh, I feel like, you know, maybe you're not talking to someone right now. Um, there is, you know, there is someone in your energy who have the exact same feelings as, as you have. The Two of Cups to me always represent, you know, um, you know, both parties loving each other equally. Okay. You guys may not have been talking because you got the Four of Cups. So you got the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is like nothing has been happening for a very long time. There's been a pause. There's been a rest. You've been very patient. Maybe someone has been taking their time with communicating with you, that type of thing here with the Knight of Pentacles. Someone is very hesitant with possibly even communicating with you. And that's making you feel a little out of sorts, making you feel sad, making you feel rejected. A lot of you guys are just wanting romance in general. You just want that in your life. And it just seems like it has not been happening the way you you imagine it or the way you dreamed of, okay? Um, so there is some interruptions here. So we're gonna go ahead and keep going. We're gonna see what's happening. I do feel like you're waiting for someone here with a three of wands. Okay, so I do feel like there's waiting here. Let's see. <clears throat> Ten of Swords. There has been some type of ending, though, in a connection. There has been an ending. So Virgo, you know, the Two of Cups does represent like a couple. So I feel like if you have been coupled with someone in a long-term committed relationship, if you guys have been just maybe married, there has been an ending here with the Ten of Swords. Okay, that's what I'm saying. There has been some type of ending with some type of connection, okay? So this is hitting the Four of Swords. So I feel like here with the Eight of Pentacles, you guys have been doing your very best with, and it's so funny, almost everybody is getting this Eight of Pentacles energy, everyone. So the Eight of Pentacles really is focusing on you building, okay? This is... Um, you're, you're getting a lot of attention. I do see that. But right now, I just feel like you're in a place of trying to heal. Because even though the Four of Cups is behind you, you're still having that feeling. You guys still feel this rejection. You guys still feel this discontentment with love not being the way you want in your life right now. Um, and so the Eight of Pentacles is like, you have no other choice, girlfriend, you know, just go ahead or guy. Okay. You have no other choice, but to focus on yourself, focus on your work and you guys can attract people. You guys can attract, um, you know, love in your life. But I just think that right now you need to heal, uh, from the connection that you guys have been so sucked in for a very long time, or maybe someone you've been in love with for a very long time. I see marriage here. This is actually hitting the Knight of Pentacles. And it's so funny because spirit knows how I read. Now, let's just, before we even get to anything major, here with the Empress, I mean, the Empress does talk about pregnancy. So some of you guys could be pregnant. But to me, more than anything, the Empress very much so talks about self-worth. Okay, you knowing yourself. Okay, um, it also talks about not you know, it's you are able to attract this night to you because the night is very serious. Like the night really is not about playing games. And I feel like that that's possibly what you've experienced before in the past. Someone who was playing games, someone who wasn't paying attention to you, that type of thing. Um, and truly, you've been waiting for this type of energy. You guys have been waiting for this type of love. And that is what's coming. The Ten of Swords is hurt. It's pain. Um, and it's it, it's happened in a relationship. OK, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and clarify these cards. We're going to see how this is going to play a role in your future, because this is pretty much a future read for majority of you. Um, but I do see I do see something serious in the future. I mean, your future cards is with the Knight of Pentacles and the Empress. 
okay? So let's go ahead, let's clarify this Knight of Cups. So I do see that eventually there is going to be something very happy coming in for you. So this is the answer or the solution. I always say that this is the solution to the problem with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is like sadness, discontentment, you know, but this is the, the, the healing here with the sun. So, you know, the dark days, the rainy clouds, <laughs> the, the days that you guys have been having, there's about to be a reason for you guys to be happy. The sun is out. So this could be a new relationship. This could be your money or a, a different perspective, but I definitely see it here. Here is again, a nine of pentacles night. There is some type of partnership coming in for you. That's what I'm saying. Um, the ten of swords is up under there. So I feel like there's one connection ending and another one beginning. So you may have to heal and rest from one connection before you get to something that's going to be very serious. But that's what I'm saying here. Yeah, here with the chariot card, I just feel like, I feel like there is a connection coming in. But I also feel like, you know, you're not going to be as expressive of how you feel because of vulnerabilities, because of what you've experienced in the past, because of the... Um, disappointments that you've experienced, but there's someone coming towards you and you guys are getting a lot of a recognition at your job. So whatever you're doing, whether, you know, it's your own business, whether it's, you know, at your job, I see that there could possibly be some type of promotion, but whatever you're doing at your work, keep, keep up with it. Cause I see good things here. We have two empresses back to back. This is hitting the empress. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles again, I see pleasure expansion, abundance. That's what I'm seeing here for you. This is amazing. It's like reverse. Everything is turning up on its side. So you've experienced all this heartbreak. You've experienced all this disappointment. And then the sun came in pouring all these blessings. It's like here, here's the night. Here's the recognition. Here's the, I see a new car. <laughs> you know, some of you guys are going to be, you know, married with children. Yeah, that's what I'm saying here. I actually really do see babies here. Someone is watching you from afar here. This is hitting the three of wands. Nine of wands. There's been a connection that has been going on for far too long that has caused a lot of, I feel, drained energy. And... um. I don't know. Maybe you were dealing with someone who's in a connection. I see partnership, success. Man, your money, your money is going to be so on point. Oh my gosh. I think this happened, this, this, this exact same thing. Sorry. <laughs> All of a sudden, I just couldn't talk. Um, this exact same hap thing happened to Scorpio is what I'm saying. So I really do feel like there is really some recognition, something really happening with your job here is what I'm saying. Someone's watching you. I see you guys traveling, okay? That's what I'm saying. I see partnership traveling. I see a new car. It's like you guys are making enough money to even buy a new car. Some of you guys are making enough money to even travel, uh, you know, all over the world and to buy homes. I really do see that there is someone serious here that you guys are going to meet. I actually see more than one person. I'm not seeing it as much as I usually see it, but I see it's more than one person in your read. But there's someone here that's really serious about you, Virgo, is what I'm saying. Really, really serious. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, just a few cards here for you, Virgo. A few cards for Virgo. <clears throat> setbacks. Taurus got the same energy here with setbacks. It talks about don't lose hope. Because some of you guys are at this place where you're not where you want to be. That's part of that Four of Cups energy where you're like, oh my God, why isn't this working? Some of you guys may have had this feeling in the future. Okay, so I want you guys to remember this and remember that it's 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 only a, a short period of time. Learn from your mistakes, okay? And if some of you guys have already learned from your mistakes, but I do feel like some of you guys are in this energy or you will be. Be cautious about what you spend on your money, but also be cautious when it comes down to giving too much, when it comes down to relationships, okay? Because I feel like you're going you're gonna to burn yourself out. 
uh, with trying to make something work that may not work, okay, in a connection. I also see here the past is playing a, very, a heavy role in your energy for you, Virgo. I feel like the past is coming back for a lot of you. And unrealistic. I think this came out for you or Capricorn. Unrealistic. It says your expectations. <laughs> Check your expectations. What are you expecting? To me, I feel like it's not that you can't expect more from yourself, but don't expect more from other people. Here, when it comes down to expectation, please let your expectations be realistic. Because that could be another reason why some of you guys may have setbacks, okay? And I also see here some of you guys are going to be dealing with legal. This could be contracts. It could be that type of thing as well. And recognition. I don't know what made me keep pulling, but that was the last one. Recognition for your work. I also see here, even when it comes down to a person or, um, you know, when it comes down to romance, I'm seeing that as well. So good things coming up for you here, Virgo. So this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, Virgo.